So, you know, this is something about these obsessed fucking psychos is they'll do anything for their 15 minutes of fame, including inciting an altercation. Because they're just hoping they'll fucking make its way to TMZ one day. That, you know, just maybe they'll appear on Inside Edition or something. They're fucking sick. People will fucking do anything. Anything for fame, won't they? It's it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. You know, I'm the same person when I thought my father was Hutch... That I am now when I find out, you know, now that I've found out who my, who my true biological father is, I'm the same fucking person. People are insane. They're fucking crazy. Yeah, this motherfucker, this fucking... And, you know, I'm, I'm, he, he likes any kind of attention, even if it's negative. So this is the last fucking thing I'm going to say about this motherfucker. I haven't talked to him in over a decade, well over a decade. He's a fucking sadistic. Oh my, he's a monster. He is a, a monster. Truly. And, uh, you know, here we go. Here we go. You know? And then, you know, not that long ago in the recent past, I got a text message from some fucking bitch. Like, you know, you didn't care about me, bitch, when you fucking, when I told you I was sick and I was, the room was fucking spinning and I was here all by myself. And, you know, I was really afraid that I had to go to the hospital. Where were you then? Where were you then, bitch? But now all of a sudden you know that you fucking missed your opportunity to meet Mick Jagger, your idol, and now all of a sudden you're fucking... Oh, hey! Yeah, go eat your feelings, bitch. Go eat your fucking feelings. It's never gonna fucking happen. You're never gonna fucking meet him. No. And I'm never gonna talk to you again. So I'll be leaving here soon and I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. I'm gonna, it, it, you know, if my, um, if my children will allow me, I'd love to send them some money when I get where I'm going. I don't harbor any resentment towards my children. I understand if they don't want to talk. I want my kids to do what's best for them. And if that means not speaking to me, that's fine. My priority is their sense of well-being. So if interacting with me or speaking to me triggers them in any kind of way makes them feel bad I don't I don't want that I'd rather they not speak to me and be happy I don't resent them at all I'm gonna take care of them when I when I get where I'm going so you know I don't think that they are uh I also don't think that my children are um, bad or they're wrong or cold for doing what they're doing either. They're not in the wrong for not speaking to me. But as far as anybody else goes, if I haven't fucking talked to you, it means I don't want to. It means I don't want to. So don't even fucking think about it. Don't even... Think about it. 
there are very few people from my childhood that I would still like to interact with. One of the nicest kids, one of the nicest friends I ever had as a kid was Kevin. This kid, Kevin. Kevin and Larry were two of the nicest friends I ever had. So I wouldn't mind, you know, speaking to them. You know, if they reached out to me, that'd be a different story. But, you know, the majority of the people that I knew in my past, you know, they're in my past for a reason. <laughs>